You know what's funny? That dude, Mystery of History, I blocked him right away, right away. You know, he snitched to TikTok because um, I, I said that I'm a, I'm a conquistador, right? Like that video, I said, he said, he, he tagged TikTok, said, TikTok. How could you not, how could you allow this TikTok? <laughs> how could you allow this TikTok? <laughs> how could you How can you allow this TikTok? Oh my god. You hear this? Yeah, I saw that. And if you're a moderator, let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Look, I have I have the thing in the back. Look. Look, 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 look. This guy right here, right? This clown. This clown. One, that's not his real picture. He's chubby. He 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 looks like a like a chipmunk. Right? Like a like a like a chipmunk. And look what the look what he puts on his avatar. They're already showing insecurity. Then he tagged one of my videos and said, TikTok, how can you allow this? <laughs> He's using TikTok to get rid of me. Right? I don't do that. I don't care. Like, and you know, the anti-Dominicans go out there and they talk crazy. I don't go to TikTok. I go TikTok. <laughs> They're talking about the Dominican. This is the problem that we have. Right? This is the problem that we have. It's the fact that people like him think that it's okay for Dominicans to get slandered. And TikTok is supposed to allow it. But then I say I'm a conquistador. And my thing, he wants to get... Who who cares if I'm proud to be of Spanish? Who cares? Why is it a threat to you? Why is it a threat to you? Why does it bother you so much? If you running around saying you're proud to be African, you're proud to be black. Why, why should I have a problem with that? Genuine question. If you're the original Taino look like you, then how are you a mixed breed? Um, like I said, I don't... If you keep it up, I'm going to get rid of you too. If you keep it up. You know, and that's, that's the thing. Is they want us to not be proud to be Hispanic. I said that for the longest, for 20 years. This country has a problem with Hispanics being proud to be Hispanic. You know, and I'm asking you, why are you so worried about how I identify me being proud of my people? Why why does that bother you? Hmm? You look Cuban, Arab, and Taino. The Hispanic man is the most hate. Yeah, that's right, El Conde. You know what it is. I've been saying that for over 20 years. I've been saying it that they don't want Hispanics to be prideful. They don't. You know, it's rubbing people the wrong way. It's rubbing people, but I don't care. You see this clown right here? This clown? He came out and said that they, that when we came out, the new order, I would like to say, everybody involved came out with different stuff about the uh, Dominicans being descendants of Tainos. The, guys like this started saying, we're Tainos too because Dominicans are Tainos too. Meanwhile, this guy has an avatar and he's darker than that. And he's fatter than that too. Trying to report me. Trying to report me. Why? So there won't be no Dominican voices, right? Online. There's no Dominican voices. Right? Meanwhile, this this propaganda against us online, and we, we can't say anything, but we're, we're brothers and we're sisters. Right? Why would you try to eliminate your brother then out of the TikTok? You see, this is the thing, people. I've been dealing with this for two years already. You know, I've been dealing with this for two years. It's time for Dominicans to stand up. I'm done. And I said from the beginning, I said from the Dominican men need to stand up. You know, get off the hookah. Get, get off the thing. Go work out. Go read some books and get ready. You know, because this agenda thing is real. It's not a joke. It's not a joke. They're after you. And plus, the importance of being Dominican. We're the first Hispanics. You understand? We're the first of this nation. Anything that you see Hispanics started there. You know, and this clown wants to block me. He wants to go and say how Dominicans are bad at this and, and get hundreds of thousands of views. 
Meanwhile, little on me, they're threatened by me. Why? Because I don't fold like a lawn chair. No, I don't fold like a lawn chair. Welcome, everybody, to King Macho the First Show. I'm your host, Macho. And welcome to the Dominican Enlightenment period. Shout out to the New Order. Shout out to my team. You know what I did? You know, this is why I love being Dominican. This is why I love it. I'm going to tell you why I love it. I love being Dominican because I came on social media, didn't know anybody. You know, I live my life, everybody lives their life. Came on YouTube during the quarantine. You know, quarantine was crazy. Especially BLM versus Dominicans. I'm going to keep it there. Especially in New York. Oh, a lot of the, you know, when I came out on, on, on YouTube, a lot of the women came and spoke to me behind the scenes, said, Macho, you wouldn't believe how I got harassed because of my hair. I used to get bullied because of my hair. I would say, honestly, 95% of Dominican women told me they got bullied because of their hair. I didn't say it. They told me this. Now, I seen this propaganda for the past two years, and all I'm doing is ringing the alarm. We're gonna get tighter more than ever. And the reason why I love being Dominican is I didn't know this person, I didn't know that person, I didn't know that, but all I knew was they were Dominican and so was I. And we bonded together like a family. L just like when you see the King Macho the first show. You go to my YouTube page, what's the first thing you see? Welcome to the family. And when I said Vende Patria hunting season, I said, look. To be a part of this family, you got to be all in. I can't see you talking bad about the family and think you're going to come back in. Rules have changed. But it's out of love and protection. Because this is what men do. Protect. Protect the house. Close the doors. The, the time to be open and nice and giving, those days are over. It's time to set examples. It's time for us to come together. It's time to really value being Dominican, what being Dominican is. Macho, that dude keep trying to slander your name. Uh, who cares? People have tried that many times. But like I always say, the cream rises to the top. The cream rises to the top. Yeah, I blocked them because it, it, it's funny. I'm doing this live, right? There was like 150 people in here. We're talking. This guy's talking. He looks at my videos, right? And it's the one where I say, I'm a conquistador, right? I'm a Dominican conquistador, which is true. I am. I have the attitude of one. He, re he, said to, he, he wrote like a comment, TikTok, how can you allow this? What's wrong with me saying I'm a Dominican conquistador? What's wrong with that? I'm not slandering nobody. I'm not saying belittling anyone. But why is it such a problem? And aha, I know why. My pride in being Dominican, my pride in being Hispanic is a problem for a lot of people. And me, you know, when I walk in a room, I don't have to say anything. People just smell it. People could see it. People know this guy's Hispanic and proud. And I am. We have a rich history. We're a new sensation. We're a mixture of many different cultures from the world into one. Into one. That's why you eat salsa. What's salsa? Salsa is a combination of many things. And you mix it and there you go. Sofrito, whatever you want to call it. That's what we are. So when they say to claim one race, I'm like, no, I'm not going to favor one race over the other. I'm not going to do that. 
I'm going to treat people as humans. I'm going to treat people with respect. If you respect me, I respect you. And that's the way I look at life. I'm not going to value a race over another. I'm not even going to value someone they're Dominican because they're Dominican. You're going to have to show me your values, your character, your morals. That's how we, we roll. I'm a Dominican with Trujillo attitude. You can call me a conquistador. <laughs> it's better like this. Keep Haiti out your mouth and keep doing what... No, we're going to keep Haiti in our mouth. We're going to do it. And there's nothing you can do about it. Haitians, Haitian Americans have been keeping Dominicans saying that we're racist in, our, in their mouth. Bringing heat to us. Using, using media, hip-hop media, you know, and all that stuff against Dominicans. We have to defend ourselves. We don't need your... Yeah, they colonized the sad part of the Spanish neglected you guys. Close your doors. Haitian Americans don't go nowhere near Haiti. That's right. Haitians don't run hip-hop. You'll be surprised. You'll be surprised how many Haitian Americans are in hip-hop media. The owner... Of love and hip hop, Mona Scott Young is Haitian. The founder of World Star Hip Hop was Q from Queens. He's Haitian. The Fuji's Haitians. Miami, love it. that whole Miami scene. The, the 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 black part of it is very much Haitian. So yeah, they have a stake. In media, the, the 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 speaker of the house for Joe Biden is Haitian. Mayor de Blasio's wife, the New York mayor, was Haitian. So don't you think they say certain things about Dominicans? Hmm? That whole Afro Latino with uh, what what's her name the the Dominican one with the Afro that always has the bug eye always like this Amara la Negra, she was a loving hip hop, Cardi B, loving hip hop and all that other stuff about all oh, Hispanic favorite the part. Mona Scott Young. Yeah. Mona Scott Young yeah, Haitian she's Dominican who. Uh, she is from Barbados. Dembo is all y'all got. All right, I'm I'm going to block you. You're blocked. Goodbye. Who else? She knows she's Haitian. Uh, Haitians do not run African American communities. I never say they run African American communities. I never said that. I just said in the media, in black media, a lot of them are infiltrated. A lot of them got power. You'll be surprised. I want some Haitians to admit it up here. There's Haitians in the comment. Ask them. Don't ask me. Speak up. Dímelo, familia. Bori in Miami. Dímelo. Y'all mixing race with nationality. You are... Love and hip hop is fabricated. Yeah, I know. They don't have no star power. They, they, they executive producers in the back. I mean, who's the one that robbed Tupac? Haitian Jack. Uh, who, who else was was trying to go at Fifty Cent? Um, the guy from Brooklyn. Um, trust me, they're involved. Jimmy Henchman, Haitian. You know, who, who shot Tupac? Haitian Jack. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Preem, yeah, Preem was Haitian. You know, so y'all just mad y'all don't got none. What? You could have that. We don't want it. You, you, you could have it. Whoa, for real? Yeah. Jimmy Henchman. Uh, Haitian Jack. Uh, Praz. Haitian, White Clef, who was involved with the, the old Haiti uh, aid scandal after the earthquake. He robbed millions of dollars. <laughs> You're going to tell me they have no influence in, in, in hip-hop media? Future, I think, is Haitian, right? Uh, uh, Little Uzi Vert, 
Haitian, uh, Kodak Black Haitian. I heard that Little Wayne even is, is like half something like that. I don't know. So you're going to tell me they don't have any influence within hip hop media? Future ain't, oh, I heard something. No, I, you know what's crazy? Because when they had the uh, 2012 um, big aid uh, for Haiti after the earthquake, it was Little Uzi Vert and um, Future that were headlining. I think they they like they said they were Haitian. Uh, they have a lot of info. Rick Ross has males too. I'm out. All right, bye, bye. Let me see. I I'll block you too. Goodbye. All right. I little went fifty cents too bigger than Haiti. No, of course. I'm not saying. That those guys, but I'm saying they have instruments and tools. They're involved in, in politics, you know. They're involved, you know, to, you know, spread certain stuff. Especially in New York with Mayor de Blasio. His wife was Haitian. She put a lot of pressure on the Dominican community through him. Through him. I don't know what her name is. Let me see. Let me, let me change the... Um, Thing, hold on for a second. Uh, let me let me let me put it right. I'm gonna put it right. I'm gonna change the background. I need to feel a sense of pride. Hold on for a second. Hold on. Oh oh. By the way, by the way. All right. Let, let by the way. By the way. By the way. We're coming. There's a message to all you Dominicans out there. We're coming. It's no time to play around. It's no, I don't want to see you online talking bad about us. Vende Patria, you know, I always do Vende Patria hunting season in the fall. You know, in the summer, everybody's out, everybody doing this. It's Vente Patria hunting season. Oh, on Twitter, they're getting busy. All the Dominicans on Twitter, clap it up for Dominican Twitter. Hold on, hold on. Let me, uh, where the hell is this uh, thing? Hold on. <laughs> shout, out to, yeah, shout out to Dominican Twitter, man. I was on Twitter today. They're not playing games. The, the Dominicans on Twitter are not playing games. They're not playing games. They're shutting down anyone and anything. If you start saying little ridiculous stuff against Dominicans. Any of you Dominican. I revoke. Damn, today I had like 20 minutes. I'm like, let me go to Twitter. I revoke like three cards. Three cards. They're not playing games on Twitter. Today, you know what's crazy? Today, it's um Tio Carlos. I don't know if anyone knows Tio Carlos. He was a former member of the Trinitarios. One of the OGs. And he's real patriot. He's on YouTube right now. Saying he said, "Hey, all the all the dembo artistas, all you guys, you better be on a, you better be over here. I don't want to hear it." And I and Toxic Crow was there, and I wrote a comment. I was like, "Theo, this Toxic Crow guy had a video saying that he's pro Haitian. He wishes that the Haitian army will come over and destroy us." He said that, and he's married to who? The insuperable, whoever that is. He's talking like that, like now we're gonna we have you filmed. We have you, and I did a live with Theo Carlos before. I'm not, I'm not tribal. I'm not um, affiliated with, with them, but people respect the work. Clap it up for the, the new world. Clap it up. In a matter of two years, I penetrated Dominican society. Why? Because I have good intentions. Look, I'm not a bad person. And anyone who knows me here, anyone who speaks to me knows it. I'm a sincere person. But you got to understand, my ancestors, my grandparents, they fought many wars to keep the DR alive. And you think I'll be damned if I let some young punks just not care about it and just let it go all the waste. It's not happening. You know? So... Clap it, up. Clap it up. So right now, Theo Carlos is live. Um, many other things. Santiago Matias is live talking about. Like right now, it's Dominican time. It is. It's Dominican. And you know, 
what's crazy is that people like myself and people others, I see you Hispaniola History Channel, I see Daisy in here, I see everyone in here that puts in work, that has put in content. At, at certain times, we felt like we were alone. We were alone and no one wanted to listen to us. We were outcasted from different family members, friends that didn't want to hear us. But today, it's Dominican time. Clap it up for Dominican time. Clap it up. <laughs> yeah, in Dominican Avengers, you're right. It, 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 this is what I love about being Dominican. We saw a problem. I don't know you. I don't know this one. It's just like, no, 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 no. You're Dominican. Come over here. Huddle. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and that I always said, right? I always said, what's the power of Dominicans? What's our power? If you if someone wants to ask you, what's our power? We work well as a team. We work well as a team. But what we need is a good coach in a system to go win a championship. And that's what that's what we're working right now. We're working on systems. That's all I'm about. I'm about solutions. I'm about solutions, right? All right, Vera Kai, all right, you, you know what you could do? Vera Kai, you're fired. Get out of here, you get out of here. <laughs> it's Dominican time. I don't have time, I don't have time for it. On other days when I'm playing around, you could come in, but today it's serious. You know why it's serious? We had a family in Dajabon that got maimed, six of them. The sister was there, and I saw the video. She was tearing up, and she's like, what are we going to do? Like, my whole family's gone. Her mother, her father, her brother, her dog, her uncle's done. She's alone. And a government that won't protect her. This is serious business. It could happen to your family out there. And this is why I do it. I don't do it for clout. My channel's not big. I don't do it to gain views, followers, and I don't care about all that. What I care, though, is the Dominican Enlightenment period. Like I said before, follow me, King Macho the First on YouTube. Go to my first episode, The Genesis, that I did on YouTube two years ago. The Genesis, I called it. The beginning. And I outlined why I came online and what's going to happen. I said by 2024, when all the leftists, all the, uh, you know, the knee pad mafia, I called them, you know, people who who uh, peddle weakness to, the, you know, weakness, weakness, weakness all day. I'm a victim, I'm a victim, I'm a victim to people. The knee pad mafia. They were after me. They wanted to shut me down. They got rid of my YouTube. I had to bring up another one. I got 700 followers. I don't buy followers. Clap it up for me. TikTok. Then they said, Amacho, you need to come on TikTok. It's crazy out here with the Vendepatias, anti-Dominican slander, everything. I came in, boom, like a wrecking ball. Had like 40,000 followers in like, what, like two months? Right away, because they didn't see any Dominicans just boom, coming in hard. And you know, that one got banned. You know, then I made another account. That one, this is my third account. And you know, whatever. But the new order came in, we squid. People in the audience, people, I see all you like Perica, eh, Daisy, tell them how we've come in the past year and a half and we shut people down. We shut them down. Professors, uh, pss, this, we shut them down. We shut them down. On Twitter too, went on Twitter. It was crazy, the algorithm, when you when you mark Dominicans in the search. It was crazy what you saw in there. You saw, um, I don't know if I could say it on TikTok, um, adult theme stuff, how we're racist, how this, how this, and that, a bunch of stuff. 
You know what the new order did? We changed the algorithm. So now when you look up Dominican, guess who you look up? The new order. Clap it up for us. We knew this was a propaganda war. This was a silent weapon for quiet war. It's different. This thing you see now is different. Let's see. Let's see if anybody wants to come up and talk. I'm over there. Invite. Uh, let me invite Roel. He, he's the one that, that gets emotional and stuff. Let's see. Let's see if he could, um, you know, uh, let me invite. So anyway, welcome to the Dominican Enlightenment period. In this period, I always told Dominicans, we are in a leadership position in Latin America. We're in a leadership position. And the way we move, the way we move is going to predict where Latin America is going to go. So it's on us. Oh, tall aunt? All right, you're out of here. Let me see. Aztec monk. Que lo que, que lo que. Dímelo, dímelo, Aztec monk. And they go 809, they get Aztec monk. Aztec monk. We have the you right come up to here. do. We could come up here. We could talk about it. Dímelo, 809. Check this out. We have the right to build whatever in our land. Um, yes, but if he's talking about the river, it's not in your, in your land, brother. So you got to get your fats straight. You know what I mean? Because the river doesn't belong to you guys. That's that number all. one. And number two, we have an agreement, international agreement, and you guys are. Hold on, Hold on Kathy. Let me meet the mic. Yeah. So you know what happens when you, when you, um, violate international agreement, right? So you go from there. You know what I mean? At the end of the day. Who gonna lose is you guys. It's not us. The river doesn't belong to you guys. And that's a fad. So think whatever you think, but fats are fads, bro. You see, that's the thing is, is that um, I'm reading a lot of comments that go, oh, but that part of the river hits hate, but that what happened to that part of the river, 809? Um, Listen, the, the river borns in our side, right? So it goes down. It goes you, through Haiti. You have a map? You have a map? You could show the map? Uh, yeah, hold on, hold on. Sorry, I know you showed it the other day. Please uh, yeah, show the map. Yeah, hold, hold on, hold on. Dímelo, Javi. Kathy, Catherine. This is this is the map. Okay, I need, I'll put it big. Hold on for a second. Right, this is the map, right? Um, <laughs> so it's it mostly DR. <laughs> right. So where did the hey, so, Haiti? So this is this is Haiti, right? Yeah. This is what they're trying to do, right? So I don't I don't know what he but he says it belongs to Haiti, but anyways. So if they do that, meaning from here till the end, our people not gonna get any water. Remember what I say the river born in our side, right? So like I say, he born on our side, around here, around here, this is this is the this is the area he say belongs to them. You know, because it goes through here and then goes back to DR, right? Mm -hmm. So if they do that, right, mm -hmm. they are um, violating the international agreement that we have. So 
after that, we can go to court and Haiti gonna get sanctions. Beat sanctions. Like beat sanctions. But they are already violating. I know, but we need to go to court. We need to, we need to go to court, and they're gonna get. And what they don't understand is by them doing that, that is like a declaration of war because it's a peace agreement. Exactly. And so, by them exactly. violating a peace agreement anywhere else in the world, you violate a peace agreement right away. It's a war. And the Dominicans haven't even started a war. Exactly. So, this is this, look, look uh, Akuta, whatever her name is. You see the red line? This is Haiti. You see this? You see this? This is the border, brother. This is the border. So this is the river. This is the river, the blue side. And this is the yard. This is the border. And this is Haiti. So you guys are redirecting the river to Haiti, which is... It's not gonna happen. I mean, you guys can do it. It's not gonna be for a long time, but the sanctions, bro. Imagine if DR from sanctions? the beginning closed Trust off the me. river you and guys, didn't let you guys the water go to poor, They would have been declared. Listen, if you guys are no. poor, trust me, you guys don't want that sanctions. I'm yeah. telling you that. You guys don't want it because that's a major, major And all violation. the cases that are saying we could do it is on our side. We could do it is on our side. Okay. A little bit of water is in your side, but at the Listen, end of the day, it's an agreement. That's this, why the agreement is in place. This, so no country touches the river. Everybody could get water from the river. Nobody's saying that. But now you're building a canal and deriving the river from going back into the Dominican Republic. If the Dominican Republic wanted, they could stop the river from going into Haiti at all. Exactly. Which, but they haven't done that because we have an agreement. Which we can do it. Because they already violated the agreement. Rivers, so to they that they guy Okuda, that we say that we didn't we didn't say anything to about Joe Joe Nell, I, I guess the uh, the president. The, you know, yes we did, but then after that he stopped. Then after that he got you know whatever happened to him. You know what I mean? Uh, but you know you know you know what's the, you know, listen. You know what's you know what's the funny thing about this? You know who's doing this? Oh, this the canal to them. You know who's doing this? Who? Cool. Um, so Ooh. rich Haitian guy. Visual. You, know, you you know you know for what? To sell the water to them. Like wow. this is private. To sell to water. Private. This is gonna be private. This is the. Wait, thing. I have a this question. I have a question for you. But it is what it is. He not gonna make no money. Because that river like doesn't belong to him or to Haiti, so that's but it doesn't blank. belong so to Haiti. That's the end of the story. The we go, we gonna, we going, we gonna go to court, and we can prove it. They, they cannot do it. That's the bottom line. They can say, people, you know, Haitians, American, they can say, jump, cry, whatever they wanted. The river doesn't belong to them. So, exactly. Doing this, they're not people. They don't love themselves. Point blank. We're not gonna lose. They're gonna lose. That's simple. Black okay. people. They don't love themselves. All right. Really quick. Go ahead, Catherine. Um. So the red line on the map. Uh. What is that? If you could go back to the map, because I was reading an article today about like what's happening with the river. That's the canal. And that's the canal. Oh, yeah. Let me put it back. Let me put it back. Hold on. Yes, me... please. Um, and in the article, it was pretty much saying that like the river was part of Haiti too, and that it was it was necessary for like you know the people's livelihood there. But I'm seeing this map, and it looks like the river is mostly in DR. So I'm I'm confused. Listen, listen, listen. The river this... is mostly in DR. A small part of the river crosses say, through Haiti like, and goes back yeah, into the DR. In DR. I would say 80, okay. 90 percent is in our side. But the river in in the agreement, in the agreement, doesn't belong to us. Even is like 90, 80 percent of the river in our side doesn't exactly. belong to us, but it doesn't belong to them either. It belongs because to the both. river it, right. Because okay. the agreement says they cannot uh relocate the river either parties not the or right either part so this is haiti like i say this is this is the border the line right yeah. this is the r 
and this is Haiti. This red thing is the canal. They that they're doing. trying to build? Yes. They're trying to change the course of the river from going back exactly. into the yard to going exactly. deeper into Haiti. Okay, so I see. if they do that, they're going to kill the river. Yeah, because I was reading that like the river is beneficial to both sides. So like there's really, it, it's going to complicate things more if we close it off. Of course, to both sides. But them building that is going to complicate things for the side of the yard that's now not going to get the river. Okay. But and doesn't the Dominican the Republic have Nobody a lot is of saying rivers? Dominicans are not saying Haiti can't get water. Haiti could get water. They've been using the river. The problem is they're trying to redirect the river. Exactly. So they're trying to own it. They're trying to own it. So it's like it I told you. Uh, so from this point, from this point down to our people, they're not gonna get any water. You see, you see how big it is from here to here. So that means all the trees, all the stuff are just gonna like, no. like no, yeah. You know, that's the thing yeah. is, the thing is, is that you gotta understand that the vegetation on the DR side is greener than the, it is on the Haiti side. Okay, so let me explain this, this, this to this guy, tap tap, whatever your name is. Let me explain this to you, brother. <clears throat> we have canals, we do, but you see, we're, we're, so what is the difference with, with, with our canals and yours? Our canal is from, how can you say that, uh, Macho? From, um, uh, it's not from the river, river, it's from the, from the, the ocean. Caña, la caña que le dan agua al, al rio. Um, the waterfalls? Yes, from, right? To, to be a river, you, you know, you need to get water from a lot of areas, right? So, in our side, we have uh, cañadas. I don't know how to say that in English. Whatever. I don't think that's a waterfall. No, cañadas. Waterfall is not a waterfall. Say that again. Say that again. La cañadas que le dan agua a los ríos. ¿Cómo se dice eso en inglés? Waterfalls. Cañadas es como falls, like you say. Waterfalls. Okay, so waterfalls, right? We had a bunch. Aquí está mi gente, Right, we had a bunch. Why? Because as you can see, our side is greener than Haiti side, meaning Haiti doesn't have cañadas. Haiti doesn't have waterfalls, right? So if we have canals, it's from the waterfalls that actually belongs to us because the cañada are not part of the agreements. Waterfalls are not part of the agreements. The river actually is part of the agreements, not the waterfall. So we can get canals from the waterfalls, not from mm -hmm. the river. So yes, we do have canals, but not from the river. The river, as you can see, goes the way God actually made it. You know what I mean? So it's if not- If we had ca canals in the river from a long time ago, there would have been a problem because that would be us breaking the peace agreement. It, it, exactly, exactly. So as you can see, the river still goes to, you know, to the ends. So we not um, redirecting the river, which you guys are trying to do, and I guess you guys gonna do. But it's like I told you guys. So eight oh nine. Don't you guys have uh, twenty seven bodies of water in Dominican Republic? N no, it's four. It's four canals that we have. I don't know. They they be saying crazy numbers. We have four canals, and. No, like he's I not said, asking about canals. He's talking about bodies of water, like rivers and beaches, I guess. No, yeah, we do I'm... have, but not in the border. Like, we have a lot of rivers, but um, people from the border are the one they're not going to get any benefit. That's, and that's farmland over there, too. There's you know what I mean? Land. So, uh... so if they, like I say, it's not our fault that you guys, you guys' size look like this. You kill the trees, not us. That's you guys' size. Or this is our size. So if you guys cannot get rivers, and additional rivers, it's not our fault, brothers. You know what I mean? You guys did what you guys did, not us. So unfortunately, like I said, we're gonna go to court, and you guys, you guys gonna lose. That's 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 point blank you know what i mean so and then and if you guys try trying 
to cross this side and do you know some whatever 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 you guys are saying because I've seen a lot of crazy videos, then it's a war. And at the end of the day, we can defend ourselves. And at the end of the end, we can go to the UN and force an invasion in Haiti. And trust me, guys, you guys don't want it. We don't want to invade Haiti. Okay, I have a question. Or the what UN, is or you guys don't want the UN invade Haiti because you guys are breaking international law. International uh, law. Let so, Gavin talk. Hold on. You know what? Let me ask you a question. So the fighting oh, about Haiti, they have more mentioned thing about to worry about, right? So what is the benefit from Haiti to fight for this river? Because they belong to Dominican Republic the most, right? Eighty percent, I will say. But what is the benefit to fight for the, it? The benefits for them is a rich Haitian guy are doing this for one right? person. And what huh? he don't worry about? What he don't worry about to do some investment on because the country? Because it it's about money. It's about money. Outside the United He's gonna States. sell the water. He's but gonna this sell is what the I'm water. To this them. is what I'm saying. This is what is the whole point, right? That what? I heard they wanted to get gold out of the river. What gold? I heard they wanted to get gold out of the river. Oh, that's why. Okay. That's what I heard. I didn't hear about somebody trying to sell the water. I heard they're trying to go under and take sacale oro. Really on TikTok. Um, TikTok's not a reliable source, but Listen, I'm not saying we're gonna you invade you guys. I'm saying if you guys cross this line, which is the border then it will be at a war wait guys guys hold on hold on i have a special guest from star wars the ewoks. <laughs> clap, it for the ewoks. clap it up all right so so you ever, you ever, seen, star wars? You ever seen star wars he's a he, he's a ewok Go, what's up, what's up? What, what you doing on planet earth i don't know you tell me Oh, and let me show a picture. Look, you, you look funny, like, <laughs> anyway, James. So you're a famous uh, uh, Haitian troll that, that that trolls Dominican channels. Um, and you, you know, you're one of my favorites because, you know, you don't report me. You don't say anything. You just come in here and kind of like poke fun. That, that's cool with me. So let's get your opinion on this whole thing about the river. Um, what's your opinion from a Haitian perspective on the situation with the river? Um, I don't really know a lot about the river, but they say um, you guys already have 11, so why, why can't we have one? But I explained I explain it already. I explained it already. We, do, we don't have 11. That's number one. We have four. And, and the four that we have, we not taking water from the river, from the actual river. We taking water from the waterfalls that actually feed waters to the river you get it now okay so the the waterfalls are not part of the agreement because that's our side that's our land that's water that comes from our side you know you know what i'm trying to say yeah, I understand. So the four is not 11 again. The four that we have is actually from there, not from the river. If you look at the picture, we not redirecting the river. So if you go, if you guys build the canal, you guys actually going to redirect the river, which is, you know, violating the agreements. So uh, it's kind of more clear now, no? I thought the river like was between both countries that's what i thought well the the river borns in dr right yeah then somewhere i don't know how 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 big is the 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 land that yeah. goes to haiti yeah and then goes back like i show you it then it goes back to dr uh like I say, it, you see, it goes back to the R here. So it goes, all right. So this is the canal, right? You see it, the red side? Yeah, yeah. So if you build this, you are redirecting the river. So from this side, 
to here, people are not going to get water. Oh. You see? You, so, so now you see. So okay. this is the border, right? The, yeah. This is DR. This is Haiti. Okay. This red thing is the canal. So okay. this is the problem. We don't have this type of canals. We don't so get if they build the, the canal river. in a different way that did not redirect the river, it would be okay? Yes, but the thing is that Haiti doesn't have that because, as you can see, Haiti side doesn't have, doesn't have that much um, trees and stuff like that. So they, yeah. they barely have um, waterfalls. That's the thing. If they had it, then they can do it from there, but they don't have it. So what? You know what I mean? So it's like I said before, it's not our fault. Unfortunately, so. Yeah, I understand. I don't, brother, I understand that you guys don't have water, but for you guys to have water, you see all these people from all this side, not gonna have water either. And like I said, it's part of the agreement that we have since 1920. We have four agreements. 1923, 1929, 1936, and 37. We have three agreements. So, I order. Um, we trade a lot with Haiti. So, what would happen then? We gonna we we gonna listen. The president already said to close the border and as of right now the president gave in three days i think it ends tomorrow yeah i think they have until thursday right to um whoever is running the country to put on a stop on this if they don't do it then we can go to court and then you know the court going to decide they are violating the we're going to go to court with who international court ah uh, okay because they don't even have a government no really no no, there, no. So. the international court and then the international court then they decide um would that what if, if the border is closed though would that affect dominican republic it, like economically like would that be a hit for us yeah, yeah we're gonna we're not gonna have a little bit of money you know so but at the end of the day it's, it's, it's you know it's seven percent seven percent of a trading part of a trading so group is from it's Haiti. not about all, you know our main trading partner is the u.s if the u.s did an embargo we're not gonna get on, money we're not gonna get the, money from them right if the u.s did an embargo on on dr we would be in big time trouble but okay. Haiti, we can't we can replace haiti with another country we cannot get money from from there right like Macho said we can find somebody else or whatever yeah. but guess 27%. what but guess what they not gonna get food yeah so who's losing here they need us more than we need them we have more leverage the only problem is though is construction in the construction se sector um expect haitians to start um protesting you know so this is something to um kind of monitor swiftly and this is the problem with and i blame dominicans in general of hiring in mass haitians to do construction and not dominicans just for cheap labor now what's going to happen That's is true. now what's going to happen and you know catherine it's crazy i speak to you know because a lot of dominicans who live in the states have property in dr they buy mm -hmm. homes they buy land they buy who they hire and with a smile they go oh, i got some haitians building my stuff you know, yeah, so that's they're true. taking advantage of that cheap labor. Plus now everything's gone political now. So you don't know if those same Haitians that are building these homes, are you going to trust them to build your stuff? No, no. But check this out. Look, look at this comment. We don't need DR market. Of course you do. Where are you going to get um, food from? Jamaica? Yeah, so like that's enough? that's what I'm thinking. Like, if they have more to lose, then why insist? Like, you know what I mean? Like, because they don't have a government. Yeah, because they have Who's nothing to lose. The country. Because they have nothing yeah, to but lose. like, but like logically, it still doesn't make sense. Even if you don't have a government, like, if you are gonna lose in this, why even bother? Because they're defending. Well, what about 
What about Ariel Henry? Isn't he the uh, prime president of Haiti right now? Ariel Henry? <coughs> like, what is he doing? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Absolutely you see, nothing. Listen, do you, you know, see how and, they had the flag at the border? What do, what do you think that means to them? To have the flag in front of the canal? It, they're defiant. It's, it's like an act of war for them. They want to like go a, against the uh, Yeah, they feel That's like... That's how Haitians uh, are. Haitians are like that with everyone. They're very patriotic, more patriotic than Dominicans. They all went to the border. They're all going to the border. Yeah, they are. <laughs> listen, listen. They're all going to the border because they want something to happen. They, they're, they, they're down to go against Dominicans and fight Dominicans and kill Dominicans. But Dominicans, we're not like that. We're not like that. We don't have that intrinsic uh, feeling of patriotism to go against anybody. You understand what I'm saying? Haitians do. So I'm happy this is happening. I'm happy this is happening. I, I hope all the so, Haitians in the DR, I hope they, they just start destroying shit. I, I really hope they do because we're stupid for even allowing them into the country. We're dumb as, we're stupid. <laughs> this, this is what, this right here, you see, how, you see how now Dominicans wake up? It takes all this for Dominicans to wake up and start paying attention to this shit. But for 30 years, what? We allow them to come into the country and do whatever? Now you wanna do something? <laughs> You see, look, and there's comments like this um, in the bottom. It says DR belongs to Haitians. Now, do Dominicans say Haiti belongs to Dominicans? We don't. Never heard it. So what do you want us to do? You want us to sit back and smoke our hookah and just keep going like, like there's no threat? That's that, They're threatening us. You hear in the bottom, oh, you don't want war. We have nothing to lose. Let's go to war. That's what they're saying, you know, and it's true. They benefit more from more than we do because they got nothing. It's like saying, like, you know, you got something going on in life. Would you go and fight with someone, a bum on the street who got nothing to lose? No. <laughs> you, you, you wouldn't because you'd be like, you know what? This person, like, you know, he's going to get self-gratitude out of trying to come to me. But me, I got a lot to lose. I got some money. I got a family. I got a home. I'm not going to do but it. But that's why we can go to court and... The court gonna decide what they're gonna do with them. You know what I mean? Because when we go to court, whatever they do or try to do to us, it's not gonna be beneficial for them. It's, it's even worse, ten times worse, because we can go to the UN and force the UN to resolve the problem, and then, then they're going to be in, not in trouble. They're going to be in major, major, major trouble. It's not okay. us. We not trying to take uh, Haiti. We find this in this side. So they're you guys got to understand it. that we find on this side. They're so, gonna flip it. If, so if you guys, you know, want to go to war and all this stuff. Yeah, it's not going to be beneficial for nobody. But trust me, you guys. Yes, we're going to lose a lot of stuff, but you guys can't lose the country. <laughs> you see how, how they think? You see how, how they think? You guys can lose the country, brother, for you decide to go to war or to do something in out of war. And it's, you're not going to lose to us. You're going to lose it to the UN, and you guys be crying about it. Oh, Canada, France, they they will love, trust me, they will love that you guys do something stupid so they can actually have something to take over your country. So you see how they think? I was just going to say that. You I was, see how they I, think, I have, I have some, that's, some Haitian friends smart. and like even, even they say that too, that maybe France should just take over. Yeah, France should take it back. like Haitian people saying this because like there's a lot of Haitian people that want nothing to do with their own country yeah so like maybe I mean I don't know I just think that you know I just want to say that like there are like a lot of like decente people like that you know go to DR to work to go to school to make something of themselves and it's unfortunate that you have a bunch of criminals that are ruining it for the good people. So I think that it's just ridiculous. This whole situation is just ridiculous. Um, 
And I just, I honestly, I, I really do think that Haiti needs a lot of like prayer, honestly. So this is how you gotta understand the way they run. I just the country. have a, I just have a question for the Haitians um, in the comment. You trying to destroy us, our country. How does that benefit you guys? Like you literally go across the border to get food. So if you destroy our food, you destroy our schools, you destroy everything of us trying to take over. How does that benefit your family that's still in Haiti, your cousins, your sister, whoever? You know what I mean? That's the part I don't understand. How does destroying our country that's the only one that are helping them, benefiting them? Like, do they not like, do they not think like this is my only source of, of food, of income is the DR and they're trying to destroy it. It doesn't make any sense at all. It's symbolism, symbolism. It, it makes no sense because it's like you guys are damaging yourselves. Like, I don't know. It seems like almost suicidal. Look, listen, one thing they, 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 they forget is if listen, we're not going to go to war with you guys. You guys going to go to war against the U.N most likely the US and Canada, you know? Cause they are the one that's trying to take over your, whatever you guys have in your side. So you're not gonna go a war with us, right? Unless you guys trying to invade us, that's a different case. But the UN gonna put their own people, meaning they're gonna put whatever they want to run the country. Yeah, I agree. So, so, so they don't see that. They don't see that. And what, and guess what? They're going to put somebody who going to give them, meaning us and Canada, whatever they want, gold land or whatever they want, because you guys for trying to be so smart, are going to lose everything to, to them. You guys be crying. For Canada and France and U.S. not you know not take or or the Clinton and other or other rich people take over Haiti. Well, you guys gonna have a better chance for them to take it. So it's up to you guys. Like I said, we're not trying to get Haiti or invade Haiti. That's not our um, prerogative. For, for, right, we're not focusing on that. But you guys, for trying to be so smart, right? You guys gonna. You see the comment. You see the comment. What he said. No, but you they're, know, they're, it's they're like I say, to turn, they, listen, most, listen. Most, most, most of these they're people are trying to turn it into a Palestine, Palestine, Palestine and Israel. Situation. Palestine, Israel. They're listen, the UN is the one they're gonna do. See with what I'm you telling guys. you about uh -huh. them? I already know what they're gonna do. <laughs> They said they're trying to unalive the uh, area. They're trying to make it a, pal a Palestine and uh, Israel situation. So they can when start little that. campaigns and talk about DR's racist and DR's this and that. That's all they fucking do. Listen to the guys in the comments. I'm not saying, because these people, they kind of they slow. They kind of slow. I'm yep. not saying that we gonna invade Haiti. No, that's not the case. The UN gonna invade Haiti for you guys trying to be smart not us the un so that like, like i said if you guys think or you can you know do whatever you guys want go ahead brothers go ahead we're not gonna lose you guys gonna lose you guys gonna deal with the un not us so yep no that's absolutely right that's absolutely right. Have one and look at our country. It's still doing good. We're the number one country in the Caribbean, you know? Like we have we have won so many battles. And by them just trying to try to fight us again or try to go to war with us again, it's just honestly it's just ridiculous to this point. I mean, we're, you don't think we're going to get back up <laughs> just like we did many times? Look, well, look at this comment. Look at this comment. The UN not gonna go into invade Haiti for building a canal. 
wait a minute, bro. I guess you forgot the what is the what is the country from Africa? Um, they Kenya? were trying to do the other day, like Kenya? like Kenya was trying to go to Haiti and fix you guys' problems. Look, yeah. look how slow these people are, brother. The look how slow these people are. You are this close, bro, to for the UN to you know be in your in your country. Like is this close, and you guys giving it actually a real reason for them, because like I say, this is a a canal, but we have an agreement, international agreement. So the UN have the uh, approval to fix this part of the island. The UN, we can go to court and the court can demand the UN to fix whatever is happening in your country. So if you think you're smart enough to understand that, good for you. But if you think you're smart to do some stupid stuff, go ahead and do it, brother. At the end of the day, you guys going to lose regardless. Building it or not building it. No, I agree. I agree. You no, know, I agree, and I and I think that um, you know, you see that way they think it. They think they think that we're gonna go to war with them. No, yeah, no, no, us, no, it's not us. You guys gonna deal with? You see, the thing is, eight oh nine. They don't understand that. They're not going logic. They're not. They don't go by logic. There are people that have been traumatized for centuries by their own and by exterior. Uh, forces. So logically, they're not thinking the same. You know, they have the ultimate victim mentality. Uh, many other countries have tried to help Haiti, but to no avail. Try to go there to educate them. Try to go there to help their military. Try to go there to give them food and supplies, and it's all failed. Even us, we've given schools, we've given this, nothing. They always say, "Oh, when we give our food, is expired." It's not expired. The fact is, is you have to feed your populace first, and then what's left over goes to the neighboring country or whoever it is. Unfortunately, that's the way it goes. You know, people think DR is a rich country yet. Yeah, does it have rich resources? Of course. But in reality, it's mostly a poor country, unfortunately. And the thing is, is that they in the media, they're treating DR like we're sitting on gold, we're sitting on food. We have unlimited type of uh, um, um, supplies and resources. In reality, we don't. A country like this cannot handle half the population. And now they're messing with the river, knowing well that they should ask international uh, people. They should probably ask France to build a river in the middle of the country somehow, some way. Just but they build Come rivers um, to show it, show, show, so so they can, so they can, because a lot of a lot of them. In the comments saying that we need Haiti, right? Um, eight oh nine. Like I said, you're you're gonna talk to the wall. Like you're you're not gonna make a point with them. You know I, who, honestly, um, who? You're not. Like you could show them here, here it is, and they're gonna deny. It. They're gonna call you a liar. They're gonna call you a manipulator. Haiti you know? needs Haiti. Do, exactly. Do we Haiti need Haiti. Haiti yeah. The business owners need Haiti. Yes. Yeah, so guess what we doing right now? Guess what we doing right now? We are doing business with El Salvador. Yeah. So yeah. it's like, okay, we can lose the market, um, the Haiti market, whatever. We can, listen, we can get somebody else. You know what I mean? When you have food or whatever, you know, you can sell it to anybody. Hold on. Let me put this. Oh, it can, I cannot. Say that every. Anyways, but we already no, doing business with El Salvador. Need you to put a much, picture. You know how much you made um, Haitians um, trying to jump over the border. That's what you need to do. And you try to tell me if it, DR needs Haitians or Haitians need DR. You show the picture of Haitians trying to jump over the border because we closed it, and they're trying to jump, they're trying to, you know, put each other over it. And stuff. Show that picture. 
and you tell me which one needs who the most. You tell, show it, um, um, show it. Uh, oh my God, I saw a video. I don't know how like recent it is, but I did see a video on TikTok and it was like a lot of people jumping the border. I think I saw that same video and I was like, when is this video from? Yeah, I, did, I don't know when crazy. it's from. That was a couple of days ago. Nah. -uh. Yeah, I just, I, it, um, it was the guy Malone, right? She's, she's my farandula. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. I just saved it right now. I was watching it like ten minutes ago. Wow. Oh my God. That's crazy. And, okay, but like, where is Don't the border the police? I'm gonna try to, um, I don't know how to work this. This is the first time I'm re I really mess with this, but I'm gonna try to send it to to people, to people in here. And yeah. And what you gonna send a, a picture, like a like, like a picture? I'm gonna show it on the screen so they can see for I'm themselves the and try I mean, to see if we need them or they need us. I, mean, I don't got it saved on my phone. But a lot of people I don't, are, I don't know it. where you could put things on the background. You don't know how to do it? Nah, I don't know how to do it. Oh, no, you cannot. You cannot. You know why? Because you cannot. Um, yeah, I don't, you gotta have like a certain amount of followers, right? Or a thousand, a thousand. Exactly. So, so yeah, people need uh, you need five hundred. How are they able to just like hop over the border like that without like where was the like? It's not big enough because we let them. <laughs> and I, it's not I, big I, I, we let them. Like, where yeah, like they were just able to just like cross over hop by over. the thousands, by the Dominicans. thousands. O sea, the, como si nada. Dominicans, we've been allowing Haitians to enter the country like that since 1996. In 1996, Leonel Fernandez and the LD, they opened the borders to Haitians. I remember that year because I was yep. in the DR when Leonel got when, when he got elected, and I I was seeing the Haitians coming in, selling those they they were selling those little peanut butter treats. I don't know if you guys remember that they would walk around. Money, money, money. Yeah, they would walk around with them in their heads, and I was I was I was a little kid, and I was asking my mother, "Who are these people?" And she was like, "These these people are from the um next next door, from the next next country, next door to us." And I was thinking like, "Wow, they just let them come in like that and just walk around." This has been happening for thirty years. Those people had kids. Their kids are now grown, and now they're representing us in the in the in the Olympics, in the FIBA competitions and things. We let this shit grow. You let them it in your neighborhoods. You never do nothing. Think about all the pedophiles and murderers that come when they. Hey, 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 hey! Don't yeah. say. TikTok, be careful TikTok. with the word. Yeah, be careful. Be careful. You can't say Just pedophile. Say no. Oh, okay. My bad. <laughs> no, but, but imagine, it, imagine how many of those type yep. of guys came in, and uh, uh, you know, the uh, murderers and things like that came yeah. in when they crossed the border. Imagine that. I mean, nobody. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was saying. It's the fact that um, if you're letting in uh, three million of them for them, that just work, that just work, and that's it. It's not that big of a problem. But the thing is, is that we're getting, you don't know if they're opening up their jails. You don't know if they're opening up their mental institutions. You go. You're, you're getting really the bottom of the bottom when it comes to talent um, from that country. And there's no restrictions. There's no law. And you know, this is what I say. This is what I say. Round them all up in the Dominican Republic, right? Put them in, in, the, in the camps, you know, put them in camps and have proper identification. You know, proper you, you, and also too, you you get nurses, you get doctors to make sure they're not bringing in any type of diseases. You know, we got to do this orderly. You know, and if we were to do, you see, the problem is, if we were to do that, like if you want to put an order and a structure to this, they'll still go out there and inter international press and call us racist. Like it's almost like we have our hands tied and our feet tied, and we're not allowed to put some sort of order to all of this. You know, that's the wrong thing, and the thing is. As a Haitian, I would be like, you know what? It's true. Let Dominicans do that because, in a way, you know, they shouldn't be a flooding of one population to the next because that country cannot take care of their own people. You know, it, it, it's true. Didn't that already happen with like the bad days, though? At one point, they they used to do it that way, but now it's gone off the rails. They don't even do that no more. There's no order. There's they, You don't know who's there. You don't know when there's an abandoned house. You don't know who's up in there. You don't know if the gang's in there. Let's say you have a house. 
a captor and you and your family you go to DR and you stay in somewhere in the house over there. And right next door is an abandoned building and that Mazu 400 gang is there. Mm. You don't know. To them, mm -hmm. to you, they're just Haitians. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's the problem. It's the fact that we need to know exactly who these people are and where they are. And, you know, it's for me, I don't know. You know, if people but, live, the, but the thing is, like, ellos no tienen papeles en su propio país. No, they oh. don't. That's the problem. Like, That's you know what I mean? Problem. So it's like, like, what can you really do? We have to do something. We have to come no, up with a solution. Honestly, yo creo que los haitianos serios se, se fueron. Hmm. ¿Cómo se fueron para dónde? Para Estados Unidos. Yeah. I mean, like, the ones that, that could mm. left. Yes. And, yeah. see, like, honestly, like, I, I, I was talking to some friends, and the, the families don't want to go back ever. Like they want nothing to do with that yeah. country, and yeah. it's it's their own country. I say, like, what does that tell you? They've abandoned yeah. their own country. You yeah. know what's the funny thing? Most of these people in the comments, I would say at least ninety percent of them, <laughs> they're not living in Haiti. Yeah. Nope. Exactly. At least ninety. I was saying ninety-five. At least ninety. None of them. None of them. So if the UN goes there and destroy everything. Guess what they're gonna say? Oh, the the Americans, the Europeans, they do this. No, you, no. I mean, actually, they did. They do. If they're gonna do something, they're gonna do it. But not because they want to do it. It's because you guys are not um, follow law and order. Simple. That's what they do. I personally think that I think that France needs to step in. And I don't know if that sounds, you they know, don't want, they don't want nobody. They they say that they that's do, the problem. Right? They say that they they're going to fix it. They be saying that for how many years? 200 years. And yeah, we don't have time. <laughs> <laughs> you know that. 200, yo, hey, since 200 years, you have done nothing at all. What have you successfully done? And don't tell me your independence because you pay for that. What have you successfully done? Nothing. Wait, you it got said. All that smoke for Dominicans, right? You got all that smoke for Dominicans because we're right next to you, but you don't got that smoke for France. That's you true. Know? You don't That's got that true. smoke for your gangs, right? You ain't got that smoke for your gangs. Hey, but you in the U.S. Power, the Caribbean. Your chest, really hard. It's true. They're a burden to the Caribbean. I mean, I just saw a Cuban girl says we don't want Haitians in Cuba. In Cuba. Yeah. Bahamas look at this, the look at this, look at this. Mexico look at this. too. How, how Mexico? How the UN wow. Yeah, there's there's a lot of Chile Haiti. too. Look what? at this, look at this. How the UN going to destroy Haiti? Bahamas. There are millions too. of us in US. We will protest. And that's the Bahamas, excuse. Yeah. That's the excuse I've heard What are you gonna do days. protesting when they have actually facts to take over Haiti? What you can do? protest and you think because you are protesting they're going to stop when they have facts to take over haiti you see how you think low iq wow. like, like my oh you know what's funny low too IQ, haitians bro. haitians they don't got this type of smoke for um african americans they don't got that type of smoke for them you know why because they got more numbers and they view dominicans as soft because we're lighter skin they view us as soft so they don't really fear us when they see us that's true us. you know what i'm saying they don't think we got people that get busy so they, they talk like that they won't they won't they won't they won't yeah it's a sad thing you know um you know all i all i gotta say is this you know to the audience out there that <laughs> thinks that um dominicans just want to be uh hateful towards a certain group we really don't want, we really wish we weren't in this position. We really wish we were in a position where we have to do something, where we have to talk about something. Uh, people are here saying, oh, you guys are on TikTok talking about this. You know how many Dominicans are on TikTok talking about nothing? Talking about absolutely nothing? X. About the gossip of the day? Yeah. Like, absolutely no, nothing constructive. <laughs> At least here, you're learning the politics between Haiti and DR. You're learning the history. You're learning... Um, what how Dominicans identify themselves. Here you're learning something at least. In those other channels, those 
other things where they're talking there about, you know, dating and, you know, going out at night, who's chapeando who. You're not learning nothing. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you something. I, 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 I'm going to tell you something about that. So last night, my, I already sent it to Macho. Uh, one of those Haitian ladies that was on the live with me, me mandó un mensaje ahí que she knows that I'm in New York and this and that. And the first thing this lady was using to try to make me feel down was telling me, how do you get to the United States stealing or whoring or culiando? Instead of saying culiando. And I was yeah. like, so for your mindset, Dominicans have to do that to go to another country? Yes. And I'm like, well, sorry. You know, yeah, bueno, mama, sorry to break your bubble, but I came here as a child. My father brought me here. My family brought me here legally on a plane. And then I don't know where she just blocked me. And then she unblocked me and told me, oh, I speak five languages. Oh, I speak two and I have a career and I'm in college still. So since you got five languages, instead of over here harassing me and telling me names, use the five languages, get a career and help people around. Do something instead of criticizing other people. Boom, cuando yo le mandé eso, she blocked me and that's it. Of course. So this is the thing, you're trying to attack me and telling me that Dominican Judy is a Dominican Judy. But then you're telling me you know so many languages and you got knowledge. Instead of use that knowledge for something positive, instead of attacking me. Like, come on, man. Yeah, and that's the whole thing. You know, let's get into that topic about Dominican women. Um, Dominican women that have been around me that for these two years, we've done this journey, getting people together on TikTok. I think we've done a good job. Clap it up for us. Clap it up. Clap it up. <laughs> Got a whole group together when I first started on YouTube. It was mostly Dominican men, and we used to get the opposition saying, "Oh, Dominican women don't even like y'all. Dominican women don't even stand with y'all. They don't find it weird." And I made it my point, made it my point that when it comes to this, I wanted more women to speak up, to feel free, to feel comfortable to speak up about their experiences about Dominicans, you know, um, in a good way, good things and bad things. So now we have beautiful, honest, hardworking Dominican women on our side. Now, I just want to ask one thing, right? Um, this whole thing with Dominican women on TikTok, not all, but a lot of Dominican women who are vende patrias, who go out of their way to spew hate against their own people and say, we're the bad guys. Where do you Especially think that, AD. Where do you think that stems from? What do you think that, the, the educational system, maybe the people they hang around with, maybe their own personal bad experiences? Where does it come from? Where I'm you... sorry. Well, I think I, I, I see that. I see that in all cultures. Um, Ooh, if you notice, wow. Puerto, it, it has to do with the women that they get to the United States of America and then they have like a certain type of man that they like, whether it be a black man, a white man or something. Some, for some reason, women, when they have a type, right? they become emotionally attached to men and then they start thinking like men like the men that they like you know what i'm saying so uh, what i think these women that do that that are dominican i think they date black men and they start thinking like black men and i'm, they start I'm sorry the things what, black men what was hey, the yo, yo, well i think somebody misunderstood what i said earlier about the lady sorry about the loud my stepmother's calling my <laughs> give me a second what was the question? No, that um, unfortunately, Catherine, um, when I came on to YouTube or TikTok or social media, a lot of Dominican American women specifically were being very anti-Dominican, like saying that um, we are anti-Black, we deny our Blackness, hate, hate that we treat Haiti wrong, that the true independence of the island was Haiti. Like, and the thing is, um, back in my day. All Dominicans were 100%. Like, you will never catch a Dominican talking bad about Dominicans. Never. But now, all of a sudden, there's no, you know, there's no age of social media and every, everybody has a voice. Where do you think this stems from? Is this stems from personal experience with their Dominican family? Or does this stem from the liberal schools, specifically in the Northeast? What about like, what about like, um, like Dominican, like pop culture figures like Christian Casablanca that always talk bad about his own people, especially Dominican Catherine, you make a great point. Great rebuttal. Great rebuttal. Christian Casablanca's, I think I've addressed before. Funny guy. He's hilarious. Don't get me wrong. That guy is hilarious. Yeah, he's bullshit. I don't like him. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's hilarious in the way he presents comedy. He's just funny. 
But I've said the same thing. He does go out of his way to put down Dominican women because of whatever experience he has. Um, he's definitely a guy who's been heartbroken by one. He's definitely the guy who probably chases the wrong type of female, expects different results, doesn't get what he wants, and then thinks mm-hmm. all Dominican up like that. But like, you know what, what bothers me about him specifically is that he will uplift other women yeah. and then put the Dominican women por el piso. That's true. Que son la más fea, que tienen el, el cabello malo, que este, que lo otro. Que, y que nosotros heredemos también. I haven't heard we hear any of that. That we just think. Have you heard in that yeah, too? Yeah, yeah. And like, <laughs> que, la, que las colombianas son las más lindas, que las venezolanas. It's like, like, hombre, like, what is your problem? <laughs> he, has, hey. he, has, he has issues too because uh, we're women, we're women, we're women, we're women, we're women, his baby mom is Dominican. Todas las mujeres son bonitas, menos las dominicanas. But like, my problem is that he's so popular. And if you look at the comments in those videos when he's speaking like that, it's all positive towards him. And like, you know, some people will, you know, do like a little bit of backlash, but like, he's very popular and he's over here defaming his own women from his country. So when Dominican women go online and see that, I mean, how are they going to act? Yeah, I, I totally agree with you, Catherine. And you make a great you make a great point right there. Because you know, um that's a good that's a good rebuttal because I hate the women, you hit the men. And that's perfectly and that's perfect because I've seen that whole thing and I made episodes about it, which I will come on YouTube in October about uh, our Dominican men toxic, Domini- uh, Dominican uh, man and woman conversation, you know, the whole thing about Dominican men being uh players and uh, the women being chapeadoras or gold diggers, you could say. And um, I did address the men saying that, like, look, if you uh, if you have bad experiences with a woman, uh, keep that to yourself. That's just one experience uh, because I've, you know, dated Dominican women and there's some that don't even ask for a penny. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, um, but if you go to the clubs and you see a woman with a, her, her body's done, and you're expecting like some sort of connection, I think you're barking up the wrong tree. So I've always, I've always said- Also there's a in a nightclub too, so I mean. That's not where you look for people. Yeah, okay. like what, what, do you, <laughs> exactly. what do you expect? Exactly, look, look, I, hey, I 100% agree. It's like, um, you're looking for love in the wrong places and then you think uh all women are like that. And there's all there's also this saying, there's a stigma against Dominican men that when they find <laughs> a, a good woman, they treat her like trash. But when they find La Mala, they treat them like tu sabes, like 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 la princesa, la reina. That's true. You know? <laughs> you know? So they look for these women that have the fake bodies, they give them attention, they give them everything, but then the woman who's wholesome, who you know has good values they they don't treat them like anything you know so um that's the thing i think catherine in the end of the day we need healing we need like to have this conversation amongst each other instead of going online like you said Cruce Casablancas, as i've seen others and spewing this thing out to the world when in reality maybe you need to go to therapy or maybe you just need someone to talk to and i'm willing to have this conversation i'm willing to sit down have a conversation listen to the other side us living. And I think it makes uh, it's uh, it, it will be good content because they, they'll look at us and be like, oh, wow, look at these Dominicans. They're out here actually trying to resolve their issues. They're making content, positive content. They're trying to spread pride amongst each other. They're, it's We're not perfect man nor woman, but at least we, we have a general respect for each other, and general love for each other that we're going to listen to each other out. And I've been seeing um, that I, I, there was one video. Because when I went on TikTok, it was, oh, 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 Dominican men are toxic. Oh, my God, they're cheating. I, I, I even made a rebuttal video about it. It's, it's going viral. Una rubia from Utah that she's dating a Dominican. I don't know how a Dominican got in Utah. But clap it up for that Dominican. <laughs> and morning she's in Utah, blonde hair, straight American girl. She says, oh, um, I'm dating a Dominican. All I hear is they're cheaters. All I hear is this. And no, he treats me like a princess. And I'm like, how, how does she hear? How does she hear about Dominican men in Utah? Like, 
we're not out there. Yeah, Gi Giovanni, it's out there. And I've made a rebuttal video. I'm like, you see, this is what happens. You know, this is um, the dangers of social media. And it goes, it encompasses everything is what you put out there, you know, people are going to judge you off of that. You know, what you put out there, this negative propaganda against your own people, it could be family members, it could be friends. They're going to perceive everyone like that. You know, this is why social media is so dangerous because some people who don't have a voice, don't have control, you know, or, or aren't logical, make these assertions, get thousands of views, and then people who don't even know us get these these bad images of us, you know, this bad perception of us. So I addressed and I, and I always said, we need to um, come together more than ever. I think this is a, a, a good productive time for us to get to get to get together. We, we have a lot of smart individuals who own business, education. Uh, uh, you know, we, we, this generation of Dominicans, we have so much potential, but we're not as united as we used to be. Now it's time. And I've done my part. You know, I've united a couple of people. I've united people on TikTok, Twitter, Dominican Twitter. We own it. You know, TikTok. Domin there wasn't no Dominican TikTok before us. Now there is one. Um, and, and YouTube. So it's time for us to come together, um, learn each other, uplift each other, and, you know, lead for future generations. Happy. <laughs> I want to say this, right, Mancho? Um, so I want to say a quick few statements. Um, you can hear me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Clear. This is what I want to say, right? This, this is the message to the, to the people that are Haitians that are here that have not a clue why Dominicans are being, like, extra defensive and they talking about their history so much. And they're like, yo, but what's wrong with these people? I'm going to explain to y'all. And also other nationalities and Dominicans, everybody in here, right? For the last... 30, 40 years, including to the present, there are ONGs, right? And nonprofits that are owned by Canadians, that are owned by Haitians, that are owned by many different nationalities that have been bashing Dominicans for decades. Decades. Let me, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Yo, listen to me. Listen to me. The I know black joke literally lying on our history saying that we're anti-black that we hate ourselves which is not true um just lying i'm talking about youtube videos documentary books articles ongs non-profits they go to dominicans uh, um events like parades and 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 and, and, and um and other events and literally lie on us and lie for Decades, right? Uh, right? And, and you know what's crazy? Yes. And you know what's crazy? When Dominicans start giving explanation and clarity and addressing some of those points, all of a sudden they act like little ass girls. Like, like, yo, it's almost like you know what they remind me of a uh, um, um, macho? Like bullies, like a bully. You know a bully? Like That's... that keeps trying to bully you, but then when you rock them one time. And then when you when when you let other people know, yo, these people trying to, and then because it happens many times in the streets, and all of a sudden when when they, they, they comes a person that loves bullies, that love it, that lit, that literally will tear your ass up, love it, right? All of a sudden you want to cry and play this game and play dumb, like you don't know what's going on. This has been going on for years, for decades. The Dominican bashing campaign, lying on our history, lying on our culture, lying on us. And now you have a problem. And I know what it is. You hate it. And I'm, I'm a, you know why you a bully? You know why I made that, that correlation? Because now that Dominicans is waking up, it's kind of like, no, don't fight back. No, shut up. Shut up. Don't fight back. Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Yeah. Don't say nothing. Shut up. Don't say nothing. Shut up. You hear me? And this is what's going on. And the days, all them days is, and now, oh, and one more thing, right? And there was never no balance on social media. There was never, like Macho just said, Twitter, TikTok, etc. There was never a balance. There was never another side of, okay, so I hear what y'all saying about the Dominicans. Okay, so let me, 
Let me go on a Dominican page to hear it from their perspective, right? Because their voice matters, right? It, it's not just you, you little bully. It's not just you, right? It's also, let me hear their side, their perspective. Let me hear their clarity so they can probably educate and bring understanding to the whole matter. And you hate it. And that's what's going on. Now there's a yeah. balance. There was never a balance. There was, was never a balance. Too long. And it's over. And you're, listen to me. Listen to me. Your days is over, cancel culture. And guess what? I got something better for you, cancel culture. I got something better for you. You will never get me banned. You know why you will never get me banned? You want to put money on it? You know why you'll never get me banned? Um, Because I'm not even going to curse. I'm not even going to say nothing. I'm not going to give you no... Po- because think about it. That's a lot of these people, y'all. You know what they do? They work for the cancel culture. They remind me of the liberals, the BLM movement. That they don't even care about facts. Let's cancel. Let's cancel the bullies. The bullies. Let's cancel him. Let's cancel him because he's he's bringing too much awareness, and I don't want him to bring awareness. Bullies, you hear me, bullies? Your days is over. Your days, them days is over now. That's what I wanted to say. I wanted to bring something up, and and and, and this is the excuse that some of these people are using about us. They use the word racist when it's more classistic in both sides than even racist. And then the thing that always they be bringing, because I saw that thing in the comments while you were talking. Oh, but we free you guys. We free you guys from the Spaniard. Yeah, but then y'all got us for 22 years. Am I right or wrong? And then y'all don't want to call that being slavery. Y'all want to call it de que ayudando pa, pa buscar progreso. Hell no. Y'all need to stop the excuse. Oh, we free you guys. We free everybody. I didn't free us. Because then after that, after the Spanian, y'all got us under your... Um, oh, ¿Cómo se dice esto en español? Mayugao. So, how is that, how is that, is that even freedom? For Ustedes ven los comentarios. Years. Look at the comments. Hey, good evening. Thank you, thank you, thank you. They say that well, the whole island you. was called Republic of Haiti times when? Why they keep saying that? I don't get it. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh my God. Wow! Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 so uh, I'm gonna tell you guys from experience. Um, I'm I'm nine. So uh, I'm gonna tell you guys from experience. Um, I'm I'm nine. I currently intern for um the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. I won't tell you where or what, but I'll tell you that <clears throat> there's conversations about the situation between Haiti and the Dominican Republic, and there are there is there's a lot of focus on that uh, subject. Um, I'll be real with you. It doesn't really seem like they care. It, it's because it's because they're really. I think it. I think it's because they're pro, like, you know, Haitians coming into Dominican Republic. I would. I don't really know. I haven't been there long enough, but I'm telling you from experience that I don't think the government really wants to do anything about it. I think they're just. Which government? The want. U.S. government. 
Dominican Republic. Okay, yeah, no, I know. Yeah. Yeah, they don't want to do exactly. anything. So, no, that's true. Yeah, they don't. So, yeah, they don't want to do anything. I, I'm, I'm telling you this from experience, from like firsthand experience. That's what's going on. Yeah, no, they don't want to do anything about it. But I know that something will happen with the U.S. government. Oh, I'm sure. I, I I'm definitely sure that something's gonna happen. But yes, I mean, hey, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I just it's just weird that uh that this is that that they're not really acting on it. They're making they're making it seem like they're doing something, but they're really not. But they're doing not anything exactly. Yeah, they're not. They're okay. not saying the Dominican government is compromised. If, if you ask me, because if Haiti is compromised, Dominican Republic is compromised. They, do, they can just come in and just like take the whole country because it's like, see, they can't govern themselves. So let's just take it over. Exactly. You, know, you get a piece of this, I get a piece of that. It all goes to the UN or America. Who knows? Yeah. Mira, mira, I, I already get somebody get on my nerves down there. I'm going to say this is somebody down there. I already replied to you. I'm going to tell you something. Yo soy bien patriotica. And I'm going to use the last drop of my blood body to get my country. Y'all not taking my side of my, the island. My daughter's going to grow to go to the yard and know her roots. They're over here talking, taking over on no island. You're not taking over on nothing. They're only a side. Or, or, or kid. Don't get or on my kid. nerves. I'm sick and tired of listening to these people saying the yeah. same thing. It was or kid. It's two I, different or kid. I want to form a Ain't group of women. Do. I want to form a group of women. Do you want to? I have already a bunch, like 22 women, and I want to form a group of women, patriotic women, that we need to make a change. If you know, we, we need to start to making, working for it. We need to I was in a live and I told the people, why are you coming over here saying that you're going to try to kill Dominicans to own the whole island? No. Soy patriota, and all I want is my daughter to go visit her country, know her roots, meet my family, and go back to my country one day. Uh -huh. I'm not letting nobody destroy it, not even my flag, my music, my food, my gastronomia, mm. my raíces. No, no, you're doing none of that. <clears throat> it is ridiculous that they be posting all this shit. Y no se puede debater con ellos, preguntar a Valentina. You can speak to them nicely. Y tú le das ejemplo. I gave three examples to the kind of them. Y ninguno puedo ni siquiera entenderlo. No, no, ellos bueno, no, they, bueno, bueno. They, they don't want to get it. No, like, they don't. I, 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 I was trying to explain one of them. Listen, uh, about the river, that the river is for both sides of the island. Y yo le dije a uno, si tú y yo tenemos, sembramos una mata de plátano. Oh. And then we get the, the, the little plátano. And then co you come and take the whole plantain tree and they don't share it with me, knowing that we both work hard to get that tree. How am I supposed to feel the tree? No, que no se puede comparar plátano con un río. And I'm like, yo, I'm giving you an example. It sí. is the point we have an argument with people that do not have gente. knowledge or neurona. No, no, one no, other. no, no hay nada de eso, muchacha. El, todo el mundo lo que está tirando, ellos van a seguir tirando y tirando, pero como no, no se No, es que todos no, son gente que no son abiertas de mente. They too close mind. No son abiertas de mente, sí, sí, es verdad. Sí, sí, sí. And I'm like, yo. Esa es vaina, esa es de, esa de ese río, esa vaina de ese río, como ellos lo están desviando, ya ellos están rompiendo ellos mismos su... Su, su, uh, su treaty que ellos hicieron sí. tú me entiendes es una cosa que yeah. no you, sí, yeah. pero, 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 pero Dominique, Dominique uh, eh, déjame decirte algo eh, they didn't start this two days ago no, claro um, que no ellos empezaron a hacer esto ya hace varios, varios meses y varias semanas y Abinader nunca hizo nada. Exactamente. Entonces tú te, pre tú te preguntas como dominicano, ¿por qué Abinader no actuó cuando él vio que habían empezado? ¿Por qué es ahora que él quiere hacerlo? Claro, porque eso es, es, es lo que está sí. vendiendo pedacito besides, por pedacito. Sí, ¿no? sí besides, besides from the fact that he doesn't care, uh -huh. There's got to be something else behind this. Why now and not before? Uh, I don't know, but something something's telling me that there's something else be, behind all of this. Because this is not new. This has been happening. ¿Por qué Abinader no lo hizo antes y lo está haciendo ahora? Uh, yo no me voy a acostar tranquila empezando en eso. Something, something is behind all of this. Why Abinader wants to Pero act on it now? I, I saw a thing that they said that they were going to intervene, right? But... 
something bullshit. about shit. They're not gonna do nothing. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I know bullshit. they're not gonna do shit. It's all he's bullshit. only doing. You know why he's doing that? Is because he's running for president for another claro, four years. Claro, claro, claro. Eso, eso yeah, es una mentira. Eso es, eso es nada. No, you know something? It could be that his inner polls are showing him that he's about to lose the election in 24. And then he's just working on it. Like, I got to do something. They have to see me that I'm at least patriotic. <laughs> this is, this is going to sound funny, but the virus zombie is that they put Hey, you guys, you know, you know, you know something, guys? Let me, let me, let me say something, right? Like, I'll be trying my best, you know, to enforce, you know, like, politics. It's all, it's all right now, but you know something? Hey, you know, it, it, it's getting to a point, and you know what? It, it already got to a point that, it's, it's, it's like, there's no point of being democratic, you know what? Because, like, tu sabes, like, even even my boy, um, why are you mad? Like, that's why, like, I follow him, and, you know, I respect him, you know, right? He be speaking the truth, though, and then they be, look, they be trying, bro. They be trying to, you know, destroy him. But it's a tipo inteligentísimo, vale? Y'all have to understand. Y'all have, you, are, you guys are in a foreign country, right? In a foreign country. You have to respect it, right? Tu sabes? Like, I always going to say this, though. You know, you will never see in a Dominican or, you know, whatever, going to other countries. Tu sabes? Como Mexico, whatever. Yeah, tu sabes? And they're respecting their laws. If we get deported, we don't talk. We just go back and we figure out a way to come come back legally. So, uh -huh. so come on, man, stop that nonsense. Can I say one thing real quick? I, 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 I didn't I, get a chance earlier. Pero una right. cosa, la, cause lo, yo lo oído antes, que la gente dice, oh, que, you know, Dominicans were this, were that, and the third, que Abinader is not doing what he's supposed to be doing. But you have to think about it in this logic. We have so many foreign investors that Haiti is never going to get the chance Dika, to do something that's truly impactful because people are not gonna let the investments fall. Every single day, like just today on the news, the Four Seasons is now opening up in the Dominican Republic. Mm -hmm. A new resort is opening up. The foreign trade is doing that. It's just a continuous growth. We're on the rise. And, and anybody that's on the rise yeah. is gonna constantly have So we're growing. And people that are not growing are, are, are going to be standing by the sideline uh -huh. saying, why then? And try to continuously destroy us. But at the end of the day, hay demasiado mano metida en nuestro país. Demasiado mano metida. And mm. those people will never, once again, let any of their investors fall. Mm. So, ¿qué preocupación que nosotros tenemos? Jodiendo con gente hablando baba cada rato. Who gives a shit? I'm just going to leave it at that. You know, what I think is... A part, a part of the problem is that if they do act, then they're gonna lose their investors because they're the country's not gonna be the the, the investors aren't gonna accept what Dominican Republic is doing, and if they continue supporting Dominican Republic, while you know we're hitting back at Haiti, then the reputation for those you know investors are gonna decrease. So I understand that, really but I also mm -hmm. feel like they will have a limit. Like, imagine that I, I'm uh -huh. a France, for example. What did they do lately? Invent how many millions of dollars into the new railroad or something like that? You think that I'm just going to stand back as France and say, si, sí, vamos a dejar que nuestro investments fall to the floor? No. They're going to come in with their own propaganda machine. Why do you think we have how many, how many millions of people come to our island every single year? Even in the middle of, of the United States putting out this anti that we supposed to be hate ass African Americans, which is complete nonsense. And eight million people. people. I want to make a eight solid point. Eight, which is really eight, boring, eight, perdón, perdón, perdón. Eight, eight million people visited us last year. All right. Uh, like there's noise in the background. There's noise in the background. Who has noise in the background? Wait, hold on. Yeah, because usually I upload these shows. Um, Cash, you make a great point. I spoke about the positive of tourism and the negatives of tourism. The positive of tourism, foreign investment, you get people constantly coming into your money. I a lot of people. The dark side of tourism, of course, no one wants to mention it, is exploitation mm. you know 
Um, basically, your populace is born and bred to serve tourists. That's not a strong and healthy economy going forward. You know where it is? It's in education. It's in engineering. It's in um, infrastructure. And that's the thing. Tourism can only do so much for an economy. I think the other sectors are ignored because we put all our eggs in one basket. And that's the thing that, that I said. Tourism is a good thing, but it's also a bad thing because what happens is your populace, one, gets left behind. The government only cares about tourists. They don't care about their own people. You know, so that's the dark side of it. It's a house built on cards. This is why, um, you know, they always wanted the yard to be Singapore. When Leonel went to Singapore in 1996, 97, he went to the city. He said, I want Santo Domingo to be Singapore, you know. Um, and if you look at the rates of the last 25 years, 30 years, DR has been one of the only countries in the world to rise in GDP steadily every single year for the past 25 years. <laughs> Meaning if we had a stable government, if we had a smart government, if we had a long-term government, DR would be farther ahead than it is now. Now, we're going back to the Haiti and DR thing. Um, unfortunately, in our tourism sector, our hand is heavy with um, cheap labor from our neighbors, and we're not employing fellow Dominicans. Why? Because we're not educating them on the construction. We're thinking about the cheap buck. We don't want unions to form. So they're um, um, skimming off the top in order to hire Haitians. And the thing is, is that politically right now, this is why they're ignoring the issue. This is why um, someone brought up about Abinader, why he's late to this whole issue when this has been going on for quite some time. Why is he late? Why? It's election season. It's election season. You know, um, during this time when um, the presidential election comes, this topic is brought up. And this topic has been brought up, I would say, in the past mm -hmm. 10 years or so, ever since the uh, earthquake. They, they bring it up. They go, oh, we're going to do this. We're going to do it. even Abinader, catch Abinader before he became president. What was his main thing? Oh, I'm going to regulate immigration. There's not going to be an illegal in here. And now exactly. he has let the most illegals mm -hmm. into the country than ever, any other president. But Odime, what exactly can Dominican Republic do at this point in time? Para, para, para el problema. Because think about it like this. Just a, fa just a couple days ago, an entire family, and I haven't seen this posted just in maybe our blogs and our pages, but an entire family was murdered by, by supuestamente gang members. They, I think. <laughs> so, ¿qué exacto, qué exactamente lo que vamos, uh, vamos a hacer de su problema? Because we know that there's a lot of problems going on over there. But yet we can't we can't forcibly say we're we're going to just get rid of all Haitians because to be honest I know a lot of Haitians that are really good people. But they do have but DR is getting an overflow of the gang members from Haiti. So now what can DR do? All right, get get rid of GP Disciple Eight Four Seven. He told Cass to shut up. You don't talk to women like that. You don't talk to women like that. I don't think What's that's that? one of the. That's one. That's not one of the good Haitians, Cass, that you're, you're talking about. I know that. Um, but the, the, you, you're absolutely right, Cass. This is not a personal issue. This is a business <laughs> issue. This is a sovereign issue. This is our nationality base. Cass, how do you feel? Let me ask you a question. How do you feel about Haitians taking Dominican identity and saying they're Dominican? <laughs> to be honest, I, I don't. I, I would have to give that question some thought. I don't want to just say anything because I, I do know a couple of Haitians that were their, their mother and father were Haitians. And then they grew up in Dominican Republic. They assimilated to the culture and I can say, Hey, you know, we're cool. You know, if it's like a Peña Gomez type of thing, I mean, I'm okay with that. But like, if it's just some, just you know what I wish in, I could do? Then then that's what what I, wish. I wish, I wish I could go to Saudi Arabia. I could go, I yeah. wish I could go to Israel. Put on uh, a yarmulke and say, go, don't worry. I'm Jewish. Do you think they'll accept me? 
No. 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 So, I'm asking no. Don't turn you down. So, like, you don't value your nationality, ethnicity as much that you'll be like, you know what? Anybody can have it. Oye, I'm looking at the comments. The two Haitians involved in the president's death had ties to DR. I I followed that story and that never came up. Actually, they had ties to Colombia. And we were being blamed for Venezuela. Haiti's president. Yeah, look, look, look. Venezuela. You see how they just throw out our name? Like everything yeah. is our fault. It's always our fault. It's always hey, you know, we're just it's hey. always our fault. Mira, y por más que DR tries to fix things in a decent way. Remember, we're dealing with people that are close mind y salvaje. Like, for more decent that you're trying to deal with these people, it's hard. Because I try, like, to talk to them nicely and everything. Y lo único que me mandan para atrás que me van a hacer un burú, my and shit. And I'll be laughing. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, think about the scenario that happened last year with the Sorry, woman that had poor connection. Okay, but think about the woman that that was displayed on all the blogs uh, that she was Haitian and she had to give birth outside, right? Oh. I have three cousins that are that are, that are Domin two are Dominican doctors and one is a Dominican nurse, and she tells me all the time that a lot of sometimes they do prior since the Haitians are giving birth at a more alarming rate than Dominicans, they are prioritized and they are given beds. So when a Dominican comes into the hospital and there's no beds for her because all ten beds are filled with other people then and then we tell one person hey you can't be here because we don't have a bed for you we're now we're the devil all over again yeah you mean, all of those haitians are poor. and you know then what? didn't i mean they just built a whole hospital yeah we uh we built hospitals it's the thing is what good is a building if you have no doctors <laughs> Right? All Dominicans, this is how it because I have my daughter over there in the ER, right? But Haitians don't pay for you know, non you know, health, you know, health, you know, as I ayuda, me entiende? So, to say, like, blaming the ER whenever you know you don't get the help you know that you need because of you know, certain you know, certain situation that happens, you know, you're supposed to be ashamed of yourself to say because I've we have our own problems, but, and then even um, Dominicans, you know, we have to pay for our own, you know, you know, things. Not and then y'all yeah, come here, come here for free, and then start complaining. Yeah, look, come on, y'all. Yeah. I said no, se vale. That's why I keep this fight. All right, I got Dominicans. Go to the comments I, I, and go see and go see how many people are saying all the negative things about Dominicans. I'm I, for all the Haitians in the comments. I want you to say one positive thing that you heard of DR doing for Haitians, oh, and I wow. bet you can't. Even that's, though we have done so much, you can't. And that's the messed up part. We're waiting. All right, let's read the comments. Uh, if you're Haitian, say at least one positive thing. Nothing. Okay. All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Call me what you want, but the beef at this point is old. We broke bread and gave it to them. And see, they sent aid during the hurricane. I mean, you're Dominican, Mikey, even though, you know, I revoked your Dominican card a couple of times. There's one person named Mikey. He did answer. He was honest enough to say they sent aid during the earthquake. That gave him an applause for being. No, no, honest. but he's Dominican. He's Dominican. Oh. He's a vende. He's a kind of a vende patria. Oh. But I'm not asking for for Haitians. There's a wow. there is a percentage of us in Haiti that only aid. We good. Okay. Um, one positive thing. Yo, line, DR did help oh, you yo, 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 yo. during her earthquake. Hey, unique set. I'm a a. I can DR say something to the university. You guys have some okay. <laughs> Thank you, Mira. A a a. A few Dominican. Put <laughs> Haitians down. That's I'm um, a a, and I can say something good. You guys have some pretty women. Can lie about that. Um, but that's not. That's not something good. DR has done for Haiti. Yeah, yeah, that that it's not even that. It's just as a like as a skill, like or or a deed. That's not a deed. That's just you know, heaven graced us with good genetics. Clap it up, for God. Thank you. 
That's some predatory shit. <laughs> there is good genetics, you know? But what have we done, or what do we do that you acknowledge? It could be maybe the restaurants, you love our food. Uh, you know, you love the fact that we're the first Hispanics, the first immigrant in New York was Dominican. What else? Um, yeah, that, that we're in, the, in New York and, and we have a vibrant culture, the, the, the baseball. What is it? What is it? Why don't Haitian men like Haitian women? Are Haitian women ugly? Wow, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going there. They can't mention one positive thing, but they they to you guys help build the university in Limonade. Yeah, I, I gave I give an applause for that. I give an applause for that. Let's see. Um, Y'all show no love to. Wow, I'm waiting. Yeah, okay. What else? No, that's it. That's the only yeah, one. Ugly. Just the only one good thing. Everyone has preference. Everyone has preference. Mario, why are you mad? You need to that university. The better they build that university for them. And Cap Haitian, remember? Butter said he can't think of anything. Um, Moderators, kick Butter out of my show, please. Kick him out. You know, kick him out. He's going to get deported. Deport him, please. I will. I will. I yeah, will. Deport him, please. You know. 2012. Yo, um, Nick so, and is better there build a present, build a university in Cap Haitian. That's true. And you know, Mancho, you know he he had to evacuate. Mancho, he had to evacuate the, the the quickly as possible because it was starting to get hectic around. Yeah, yeah, that's Certain true. Certain people didn't want didn't wanted it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know how it is. Wow, now one, I'm waiting for one one out of twenty comments was positive. No. The first Haitian, the first Haitian uh, pr private bank, if I'm not mistaken, was funded with the help of uh, a Dominican bank owner. Um, I'm going to throw one out there. Also, 2016, the oh, Haitian, oh, no, 2016, Banco Popular did a thing, uh, uh, a fund. It was like so, it's a program that they have for Haitian nationals, just specifically. Mm. You ready? You want me to keep going? Jobs, healthcare. Um, what else? You want me to keep going? I what think a very important security. one. Security. I think. Hold on. I think a very important one that a lot Mater of people education, don't know about. education, and you get on here and run your mouth, and you don't even know what's going on. Okay, I have a question that I want to get an answer. What it else? Is the city demo says you guys help it. Got help with scholarship for from or for Haitians to study medicine in VR. Is that true? I think it's true. Clap yep. it up for ZZ. That's true. That's true. No, that's we true. They got no. Not just scholarship. Yes, that's correct. The uh, Ziri, whatever Delmas, that's correct. Uh, but not just of, medicine. A lot of Haitians everywhere. graduate from medicine in the Dominican Republic from medicine school. is because I, I know that uh, Cass wants to say something but I'm going to say that we helped we helped them pay for their freedom uh, while we were slaved by them for 22 years we they overworked us and because of yep. the money that we produced they pay the French thank you well, what I we we asked another thing, Dominican, all my Dominican family. Um, what was I going to say? What do you feel, right? What do you think? What do you feel about um, Vende Patrias, right? Vende Patrias. Right now... Uh... Right now Right now, more than ever, Dominican. Dominicans need to come oh, together. That's how now. I feel. Right oh. now, I said a saying, the tank, right? It was it was sort of poetic, what I was saying, that I was coming, you know, um, to fix, especially in the New York, Northeast area. It's a bunch of, uh, I call it the Nipa Mafia, liberal thinking, like victim mentality people, right? Mm -hmm. So I said, we need our people to think more stronger, be more resilient and have a longer vision and don't feel sorry for themselves and don't make people feel make you feel sorry for yourself because that's what what's that what was happening. My, my my favorite in the patria is haiti for real she never give up yeah yeah <laughs> clap it up for haiti she's resilient you yeah. <laughs> don't give up you don't give up i think you know she has some money to make i think she yep. has some money to make so they're like hey haiti you better go out there and make another video slandering Dominicans, or we're not gonna pay you. Cause you see her eyes, she's like, I gotta, oh my god, it is Dominican. Like, ah. I'm like, what? What's wrong? 
Like, yo, you look funny doing that. It's too smart. Hey, hello, the Dominican Republic. Oh my, oh my God. Her eyeballs. I'm like, damn. You're like, talking about a person. I thought you was talking about Haiti. <laughs> so no, I'm like, no, 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 Haiti, Heidi, Heidi. Heidi. <laughs> Heidi, 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 yeah, Heidi, Heidi. Uh, uh, yeah, she's yeah. arguably, and she, and not, I gotta say, I'm, I want to do a Vende Patria beauty pageant because there's a lot of beautiful Dominican women who are Vende Patrias, and we'll rate them one to ten. We'll rate mm -hmm. them one to ten, right? She's up there. She, she's pretty, but you know, she's bonk. She's, she's, I don't know. She's got a screw loose up here, and. It's funny, like in her videos, right? She she gets the most views when she talks bad about Dominicans and how we're anti-black, you know. And I'm like, why don't you show other stuff? Yeah, why don't you show other stuff about DR? I mean, you're educated. that's what they hate. They don't want they don't like when we when 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 we correct. They hate. It's like they want us to shut up so bad. And I really don't understand that because like we're mixed and literally everybody's family that I know that's Dominican is mixed from light to dark in the family. Literally right. Mi abuela tiene los ojos casi azules, rubia. Mi abuela, mi abuelo era morenito. Like, come on. How? how? You know what's crazy though? You, you, you know what's crazy? Yeah. That. Sorry, they yeah. know that. Yeah. No, we, but don't, listen, we don't hate them. That's not true. Please don't don't. They know that. Why you know? Talk is is the boy. They know that. That's the, my whole thing. They actually know that. So they even be rejecting truth and every, like like when you tell them, let's talk about um things that we do. Mom. Yo, Later. they even hate when you talk about the good things. It's so beautiful. You hear me, bro? Exactly. This is my mom. They even hate that. Yeah, can, this is my mom right here. Yeah, can call her colonizer, and she's Dominican. She got green eyes, green hair, and my brother is darker than her. Entiende, mira. Es la otra colonizadora. Yeah, she's she's part of yeah she's part of my family. You know, um, it's funny. Like when I do the <laughs> the Dominican conquistador stuff, right? You know, I do it to joke around, poke around because it's true. They treat Dominicans like we're colonizers, like. We've gone to other countries, occupied other countries, subdued them, set up cities, you know, uh, destroy and rebuild. They treat us like that. And I'm thinking, hmm, why don't we just act that way then if we're going to be treated that way? Right? Clap it up for me. Yeah. This is why I say that being a vic being Dominican and being a victim is basically what you're they're trying to do is like, uh, give up the goods, uh -huh. like, uh, empty your pockets, you know, um, uh, empty your drawer, you know, like, give me Bro, everything you got, like, this is, a, this is basically what they're doing is basically what you call a strong arm robbery. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Too much. You know what you do? 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 Yeah, that's what I was doing. That's what I want. You know, because, hey, you know, they're beautiful, but, you know, they're traders and whatever. And, you know, see them in the bikini and stuff. That That's great. You know, that that would be a good thing. That would be a good thing for the culture. You know, um, and, you know it, it, it bothered me when a lot of these women, especially in, you know, um, not only in, in New York or New Jersey or in the United States, in DR, like this leftist movement is growing and growing and the LGBTQ and, uh, you know, this whole thing um, is growing in DR. And I'm like, damn, why are they so aggressive? Ideology. In DR, you know, why are this? Oh, okay. But we're going to have also Patria uh, 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 beauty pageant. That is you know why I say that, Kimacho? Because, like, damn, you got to be a shit bag, you know. Tú tienes que ser una persona no patriota, you know, to uh, deny or, or, or destroy your own country, you know, by, you know, diminishing it, you know what I'm saying? Like, you have to have a a, a black heart. Because, uh, damn, like, tú sabes lo bonito, como siempre digo, lo bonito que decir, yo soy dominicano. Hear me out. Yo soy dominicano. Come on, man. I can defend another patria. Like, to say, regardless of, of what other people opinion. So, you say, to say, lo lindo de another patria, ¿verdad? Because you can be born in Europa and, um, you know, Spain, you know, which is part of Europe, you know what I'm saying? Or Chile, Mexico, United States, you will still be a Dominican. Feliz lindo, mi gente. ¿Tú me entiendes? Facts, bro. Facts. What was 
was I was I was at a live earlier where um, I was in a live on um, around Haitian. Yes. Somebody said I'm Haitian American. I have a Dominican girlfriend who always feels inferior around Haitian. No, that's not true. It's usually the opposite. Eso, eso, eso es cotorra. Es cotorra, verdad. Si sabe algo, este Carol, Carol Bella, una cubana, no sé si es cubano o cubano, ¿verdad? Bueno, cubana, ¿verdad? Incluso ella misma dice, ustedes están fallando, los dominicanos no son racistas porque ustedes dicen lo mismo de, de los cubanos. Hey, en verdad, la cosa es seria, mi gente. Ellos están usando lo que viene siendo falsa, como la like, falsa, you know, la like, like media, tú sabes. La, oh, they're using everything against us. La verdad. They're using everything against us. Not only the media. They're using everybody against us, and that's so sad. We need to hit them bar hard, you know. And today, I was at a, uh, I was in a live where, you know, we were, you know, exchanging, exchanging opinions about what's happening in Haiti. You were there, so this Dominican lady, I, I will say Dominican, quote unquote, because the lady, as, as soon as she came up, she once didn't say anything positive about the Dominican Republic and she called herself a Dominican. Nope. So I began attacking her big time, attacking her attack. I didn't let her go until the guy closed the life. And then other women, other Dominican women ended up actually giving me, giving me, how do you call that? Um, they were giving me um the reason that that they noticed that the woman, yeah, that, the woman was like, oh, no, yo viví en Inglaterra y tengo tres hijos ingleses and I am Dominican. And then she started speaking English and that's when I realized that she wasn't. Oh, you were there? So, so anyway, to, to make the long story short, so I can begin, I can end. So I feel that she's a vendepatria. If she is a true Dominican, which I doubt it. ¿Te recuerdas, Valentina, en el live que tú estabas, que estaban comiendo viva, ¿me entiendes? Que yo estaba grabado. No, 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 eso, que me estén comiendo viva, porque yo me sé defender. Yo le doy para no, trabajar. hard. Yo, 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 <laughs> That's exactly what it was, you know. And you know, and you know. You know they hate when they hate when we come back with uh with with numbers and statistics and, and, and facts. They hate that. Oh my that's when they actually get insulted and that that's when they start calling us names. Oh, you're a racist, all right. Because they, they don't have anything else to say. Uh, the only I, thing I, that they have left is just calling us you know what. I wanna I wanna yes. yo, yo soy yo soy yo soy ne no,